So Microsoft has made an absolutely huge announcement about the certification exams. All the role based exams at associate, expert and speciality level are now open book. Crazy isn't it? But anyways, is it good or bad for you? How exactly it impacts you? What are the key points, do's and don'ts? And all the details on this interesting announcement are coming up in this video. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. So to be honest, I'm kind of happy about this decision from Microsoft. A great step towards testing your understanding and skills rather than the memorizing power. So friends, before I move ahead, I just want to say that please read my detailed blog where I have shared a more detailed version of my thoughts, do's and don'ts and how this change will impact you. And not only that, I have also shared a real feedback from a recent exam taker who just did DP203 with this new format. So in this blog, you will also understand what was his experience, what was the exact comment that he shared with us on the YouTube channel, good or bad, what can you learn from it? So please do read the blog at thetechblackboard.com slash blog. The exact link is now flashing on your screen and also available in the description box. Okay, so coming back to the main video, this is the official documentation. I will leave the link in the description box. You can read the title is introducing a new resource for all the role based Microsoft certification exams. And here my friends in this paragraph, you can understand that starting 22nd of August, Microsoft has been updating their exams so that you will be able to access Microsoft Learn as you complete your exam. So the new resource that Microsoft is talking about is this Microsoft Learn website and this will be available in all the role based exams and speciality exams in all the languages by mid September. So for example, exams like AZ-104, AZ-400 or DP-203 but this won't impact the fundamental exams such as AZ-900, DP-900, AI-900 or any other fundamental exams. Now just to help you out which exams will it impact, I have shared a link in the description box that will take you to the Microsoft website where you can browse through all the certifications that will help you understand which exams come in the speciality or expert level and which exams come under the fundamental exams. Now let's understand some of the key factors of the exam but before that I just want to add that Microsoft Learn will be available for all the types of questions except the lab tasks. So that's a very important point keep that in mind. Now let's move on to the main documentation here you can read some of the important aspects of the exam. So first of all, you can read that you will have access to everything in learn.microsoft.com domain except Q&A and your profile. So basically in the Microsoft Learn site, you can browse through everything, but you cannot see the Q&A part. And this probably might be because of the fact that the Q&A sections of the Microsoft Learn are also very close to the exam format. That's why it's a kind of cheating. So Microsoft do not want to get you into that. That's why Q&A is forbidden. But anyways, the next important point is that extra time will not be added. This is a really important point here. No extra time. So you really need to be super cautious about the time. Do not overindulge yourself or get carried away by the craving of opening Microsoft Learn on every question. It's going to waste a lot of time and time. Time is precious in these certification exams. Okay, so let's move on to the third point, which is kind of related to the second point itself. It says that the exam timer will continue as you search learn for whatever information you need. So that's why I want to re-emphasize the time you spend on the Microsoft Learn. That would be exact in the same time. No extra time will be given to you. You have to finish the exam in the allotted time. Let's move on. The next point says, that this resource which is Microsoft Learn is only available for the role based exams not fundamentals. As I just told you this won't be applicable for the exams like AZ-900, DP-900, AI-900 or any other fundamental exam. Moving on the last point says that this resource will be available in the same languages in which the exam is available. So the language that you have chosen for the exam the Microsoft Learn will also be available in the same language. Now friends, let me show you how it actually works. I'm going to use the actual demo video from Microsoft to explain this concept. Although all the details are also given on this page itself. You can see all the images and understand the process. But let me show you the entire process with the official video. And do not worry, I have shared the video link in the description box. So friends, this is the simulation of the exam. Here you can see that we are given with some sample questions and some options. And now let me show you how can you launch the Microsoft Learn website from the exam itself. And to open the Microsoft Learn website, you have to click this Microsoft Learn button available at the bottom of the window. So once you press this button, Microsoft Learn website will open on the right hand side of your window. 
So here you can see that both the Windows, the exact exam and the Microsoft Learn has taken 50% of the space. But then if you want to resize the windows, then you can drag this center part of the window and you can adjust the sizes for both the Microsoft Learn and your actual exam. And then at the top of the window, you can see a menu is available and this menu contains the controls for the following features. So first of all, you can view the split screen mode. So here you can see that. So using the topmost button, you can view the window in the split screen mode. And then with this second button, you can view the windows in full screen mode. And with the last button, you can open additional tabs. Okay, so now let's see how the full screen works. When you click on this full screen mode, then you can see the Microsoft Learn has occupied the entire space. Here you can see that. Here it goes. So now you can see that Microsoft Learn has taken the entire space. You can easily browse through Microsoft Learn. But important point to note is that during the entire exam duration, the question numbers will be available on the top left corner. And you can also see the timer running on the top right corner. So this is a very handy feature at all the times during the exam, you will be aware which question are you doing and what is the time left. Okay, so now you can see this plus sign on the toggle menu and that will open additional tabs that will be loaded to the Microsoft Learn homepage. So here you can see that we are able to open additional tabs. So that's how you can navigate between various Microsoft Learn tabs. And once again, you can note that even if you're opening multiple tabs, the exam question is still on the left and the timer is still on the right. So now that you've learned how to open multiple tabs for Microsoft Learn, let's now understand how can you navigate through the Microsoft Learn. So here you can see, let me click on this documentation. Here you can see the entire documentation is open. I can go to the other tab. I can browse through the other sections, for example, code sample. See this, you can open the code sample as well. But then there is a very important point here. If you want to open a GitHub link, then this will give you an error. So let me show you that if you click on this GitHub, then you can see on the top right corner, you can see access denied and this is by design. So Microsoft has designed this entire mechanism so that you cannot go out of the Microsoft Learn, you cannot open the Q&A section, you cannot open GitHub or you cannot open any other external link. So that's very important to understand that you can only stay within the premises of Microsoft Learn. Okay, so now if you want any window to be closed, you can do that by selecting this X. So here you can close the windows. And one more important thing to mention here, you can always see this return to the question button. If you click on this button, then you will always land up in the current question. Here you can see the question is visible again. But let's say you wish to open Microsoft Learn once again, you can always click on this Microsoft Learn button at the bottom. And this will open Microsoft Learn once again, just to demonstrate to you. Okay, so I hope you all understood what are the new features that are coming when it comes to the Microsoft Learn. Now friends, let me show you one feature of the exam and this is primarily for the exam takers for the very first time. So here you can see that we have one question and you will read the question, you will read all the options. Now let's say that you have figured out what is the correct option. So you will click on that correct option. Here you can see that I have clicked my correct option and now you go to the next question. And here in the next question, you can tag a question as review later. And when you go to the review section at later part of the exam, you can see all the questions that you have tagged as review later. So now you can see the question number two pops up once again. So I can review the question once again, validate my answer. But of course, always keep in mind the time is ticking. So review the questions very quickly so that you are able to finish the exam in the allotted time. So I hope my friends, this demonstration has given you a clear understanding about the changes. And in case you still have some doubts, let me know in the comment section. But I would highly recommend you to go through the Microsoft website and learn about these changes. I will leave all the links below in the description box. And before you attend your exam, make sure that you make yourself familiarized with the Microsoft Learn pages because now Microsoft Learn is the part of your exam. It's very important that you know about the pages, the different section, where to find which information. So all these things, different sections, you must be prepared beforehand as this is going to save a lot of time in the exam and you will be able to make the best out of it. And please do not forget to read the blog. There is more information in the blog. So please do check that out. The link is now flashing once again, also available in the description box. And I wish you all best of luck. And yes, my friends, I'm very keen to know your thoughts. What do you think about these changes, good or bad? Let me know in the comment section. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as this really inspired me to create more videos like this. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.